na wo mu e wo hosisi o muye ebrofo e no se da bi nkonfono o mu ne kika bo ma no ma twist nyo ma no nti wo wo ma be so o israel for no cra so mu ye e bi before de nti aye ye sa discuss ye bi abe ye so o na ye ye ho an ho en fa ho e no no ma ye hu se 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 a wo ma me se wo ma me e bi a o ye asantini o ma me e ye nzimani o ma me e ye nothna na obi twist na i'm sure se o nye happy se u free e krobi so na ye kacho se u free ho na ni mse u free wa ebe how enti di ento mo chwe ye nene se u ye kristo niya e wase u hu bebi a u free ba bebi a u free ba nene se u ye black nyanko pon e ye black yesu ye black enti men ko jina bebi e mani nye te se u bro ni yesu ye white nyanko pon ye white na anko fasa anyo mini nina aba na ye ka adam and eve a odi akoma cheche mu se adam e eh, black eve ye black because anya ye de born no adama in hebrew adama which is the soil no uh, basically it is also black enti san cheche mu na na egu so dem pese ye ti ase ni nyina ne se se ye ti woni nyina ye nim se yesu christo no o ye white no se o ye fake eh, to to ne and yes, we come and say, "Mudo, burn it. If you burn it, you don't go to hell." That white man is a deceiver. That's not Jesus Christ. All right, let's move on. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is. I'm, I'm gonna start in uh, Psalms, the 83rd chapter. I'm gonna read the first verse. It says, "Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Mm -hmm. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult." See what the Bible says. Some. This is Psalms 83, verse two. Verse two. Okay. Notice what it says here. It says, "For lo, thine enemies." So, he's Asaph, who's doing this prayer on the behalf of King David, he's telling the Most High, your enemy. So, the Most High has enemies. Mm -hmm. You know who's the Most High's enemies? The enemies of our people. Right. All these other nations that come together to cut us off from being a nation like we're going to read on, God is saying, guess what? Those are my enemies as well. Why? Because the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of Ghana, we are the apple of God's eyes. That's right. Read. For lo. Thine enemies make a tumult, mm -hmm. and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They that hate thee. It doesn't say like. You don't, you don't, if you like somebody, you don't sell them into slavery. You don't destroy them. You don't give them a fake image to, to worship. God says, for, it says, uh, for lo, thine enemy, enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee. Have lifted up the head. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Guess what? Religion is crafty counsel with all its denomination. Mm. Politics, which keeps us divided, is crafty counsel. You know what else is crafty counsel? A lot of brothers and sisters might not want to hear this. Tribalism. Mm. That's why Kwame Nkrumah, what he, he was trying to get rid of tribalism. He was trying to bring unity right. amongst the people. All of that is crafty counsel. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people mm -hmm. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Why is it saying hidden ones? Because our nationality, our God, who we are, is hidden from us throughout this whole world. Wherever the Most High scattered us in the diaspora, it's hidden from us who we are. That we are the biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Read. They have said, come mm -hmm. and let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah, with the other nations. Mm. The, the main person, the so-called white man, the Bible calls him Esau. His name is Esau. You call him Ibroni. In America, we call him uh, white Europeans or white Caucasians, right? Yeah. In Uganda, they call him Mazungu. In South Africa, they call him Balungu. He has many different names, but God calls him Esau. E-S-A-U, e Edom, the nation of Edom, E-D-O-M. Open the Bible, do some research. That's right. Your enemies is in the Bible. You know, there's a saying in America. How could you expect a man that never treated you right to teach you right? Mm. Impossible. It will never happen. Same thing here in Ghana. I keep telling you. Mm. Oh, everybody, everybody come here and rob your guys in Ghana. Because you want to know why? Because your guys have no unity in Ghana. That's why they was able to rob you. They was able to rape, kill, murder. And they're still doing it today. Mm -hmm. They're still doing it today. I'm working, I'm working here. It's not only in Ghana. Right. They do the same thing All in right. Haiti. I come from Haiti. They do the same thing in Haiti. They do the same thing in Jamaica. They do the same thing in America. Mm -hmm. In the black. They do the same thing to us. It's not only in Ghana. Because I, listen, I, I was in Accra. I saw the same. I, hey, what is that? I say, hey, I don't see nothing in Accra impressing me. I say, maybe I come to uh, 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 
commencé. Maybe I see something commencé. Impress me. So I come here, I see still the same thing. I see and I quite the same mm -hmm. thing commencé. Our people been oppressed for so many years, mm -hmm. and then we got the resources. This is supposed to be a black country. How the hell you got a Chinese man on the biggest hotel in Kumasi? Right. How the hell you got white people on the the biggest bank? Why is that? They're robbing your guys. Wake up! It's time your guys been sleep for too damn long. Mm. We're here to tell your guys to wake up and repent that God may fight for y'all. That's what we try, we try to. We know your guys cannot fight against the devil. You know your guys cannot fight against them. But guess what? The only thing you can do right now is repent. Start keeping God lost so God can fight for us here in Ghana against the enemy. Because not only they are your enemy, they are also God enemies. Right. Yes. Yep. Interesting. Go ahead. Interesting. It First says, all, very interesting. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation mm -hmm. that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why they call you Ashanti. Fonti and all these different tribes now. They call us American blacks, Haitian um, American, Haitian American, uh, African American. We are divided in color. They've come together and said, let us cut them off that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they forgot that there's a God. That's right. And your arms are too short to fight against yes. God. Read. Mm -hmm. For they have consulted together with one consent. Mm -hmm. They are confused confederate against thee. So now God is going to explain to you the nations that are confederate against the children of Israel. Read. The nations that are coming together yes. to cut the Israel, the real Israelites, yes. Yes. the blacks off. To destroy us. Yes, okay. it's in the Bible. Right. Read. The tabernacles of Edom. The main perpetrator, the main suspect, the main vagabond, mm -hmm. the main man is Edom. Who's Edom? All white people. The whole Caucasian race. God calls him Edom. He's the head man in charge that has come to cut us off from being a nation. Read. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs. They come. Guess what? They had us in slavery too. The Trans-Saharan slave trade. Yeah. Where many of our Ghanaian people, mainly in the southeast and the north around the Volta region. What are you following? You're following um, Muslim, Islam. God never gave you Islam. God gave you laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. You are the Israelites. He never said to take a pilgrimage to Mecca and throw a rock and bow down in front of a stone called the Kaaba stone. It's not biblical. It's idolatry. So God says the nation of Edom and the nation of Ishmael. Who else we got? Read. Moab. The Chinese. Like my brother Deacon said right here, they own all your resorts, all your hotels. Mm. They come here, they sleep with the Ghanaian women, they sleep with the Ashanti women, they take all your resources, and where do they go back to? Hong Kong, Beijing, and leave you with what? Dirt. At one time, this place was called what? The Gold Coast. Yeah. Where's your gold? Where's your gold? Where's your gold? Where's your gold? Nothing. What do you have? Bronze and copper. You have nothing here. They've raped and robbed the land. They colonized you. God said all these nations were confederate to do that. Read. Hmm. Come on. And the Hagarines. The Hagarines. Come on. Gabal. Gabal. Come and, on. And Ammon. Ammon the Japanese. Come on. And Amalek. And Amalek. I want to stress that. Amalek. Who's Amalek? We read it earlier. Revelation 2 verse 9. They that call themselves the Jews and are not, not but are the synagogue of of Satan. Satan. So when did they put themselves up as being the Jews? Luke 21. When did this happen? When did this whole confederacy happen? We got to realize mm -hmm. the Israelites always broke the commandments of God. Therefore, the curses of God fell upon us as a people. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to read about something that Jesus Christ said was going to happen about 30 to 33 years later after he died. This is after. Mm -hmm. So this is for all you Christians that say, oh, when he was nailed to the cross, the curses were over. That's not so, right. because we're about to read about a particular event that happened 33 years after Jesus Christ died. Read. Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. Come on. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with army. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, speaking to black people, the Israelites. When ye shall see Jerusalem surrounded with armies. What armies? Who was ruling during the time of Christ? What nation Caesar, of people? Right? No, Who, what? The Romans. The Romans. What color is the Romans? White. The white man. <laughs> Ibruni. Okay? The so-called white man. God said, when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. That's Luke. Luke 21 and 20. 
21 and 20, okay. Come on. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies, uh -huh. then know that the desolation thereof is not. Then know that the destruction is near. Come on. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. Notice what Christ said. Now he's giving you direction. Mm -hmm. Geographical direction. He says, when you see them come in, run to the mountains. What mountains was he making reference to? Get me Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. We're going to bounce around. The Bible says in order to understand the scriptures, you got to go precept upon precept. So what mountain did Christ tell the Israelites to run to? Matthew 2 verse 13. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Mm -hmm. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. It says, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Why? Because Christ and his people could hide um, amongst the dark nations. This was for Matthew 2.13. Mm. Now in the book of Luke 21, Christ is giving them the same directions. Run into Egypt. Where's Egypt? Where's Egypt? Northeast Africa. Yeah. Egypt is a part of Africa. That's right. But who's in Egypt today? The Ishmaelites. The, the sons and daughters of the Ottoman Turks, Arab and Greek babies. Christ told them, run into Egypt. Our forefathers was in Egypt as well. Jacob sojourned in Egypt. Yep. You read about that in Psalms 105. Yeah. Okay, read. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Come on. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. So Christ is saying, if you're inside of Jerusalem, get the hell out. Run! Ebroni's coming. The white man, the devil's coming to destroy you. Why? Because it was written in the book of Deuteronomy. Prophecy had to be fulfilled. Read. And let them, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein. Too. If you're outside in Cyrene, in the parts of Libya, if you're out around the Niger River coming back to Jerusalem, stay there. Don't return. Mm -hmm. Come on. For these be the days of vengeance. Come on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. When Christ was walking the earth, he didn't speak his own words. Mm. Remember, when Christ was walking the earth, the New Testament wasn't compiled yet. Right. That's why it says things which are written. Written where? In the Old Testament. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses prophesied the same things. We didn't listen. We were still in adultery, idolatry. We refused to keep the commandments of God just like we refuse to keep the commandments of God today. Christ said that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Read. But woe unto them that are with child, uh -huh. and to them that give suck in those days. Come on. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. Read on. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Who's the they? Who's the they that, fell by the, that shall fall by the edge of the sword? The Israelites. Come on. And shall be led away captive mm -hmm. into all nations. And that shall be led away captive into all nations. So where did the Israelites get dispersed into? All nation, all nations. So what happened when we were exiled and kicked out of Jerusalem? Read. Right. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So who's in the land of Jerusalem today? The Gentiles. Gentiles. One main, who's the main Gentile? The white, white man calling himself a Jew, calling themselves Jewish. Those are not the Jews. Who's the second Gentiles? The Palestinians, the Arabs. And I'm not talking about the Afro-Palestinians because those are Israelites. But the Arab-Palestinians, those are Ishmael. God says Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So what happened to the brothers and sisters that dwelt in the in the cities in Jerusalem? Right. Get me get me um Joshua chapter 15 and verse let me get it with you. Joshua chapter 15. I'm going to show you something. Everything that we're saying is biblical. These pastors, these pastors can't hold a candle over our head. B -b -b Why? Because we're speaking the word of God. Go ahead. And, and these are interesting revelations that I'm getting this afternoon. That we have been attending churches all over, throughout. In Ghana, there are so many churches. Mm -hmm. And our focus has never been trying to help us appreciate who we are. The, our true identity and how we can connect to empower ourselves i get the impression that look it's about a certain jesus christ we have to bow because even when we are having crusades you find that pastor and that deceiver that now we know that that's not jesus christ mm -hmm. you find them using them for flyers and posters because we are going to meet that jesus christ mm -hmm. and then we are being indoctrinated into thinking that the whites are more powerful. I mean, 
we 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 know how we accept them maybe from united states maybe a white pastor or whoever coming to um africa we know how we accept them we we know how we 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 allow them into thinking that they are going to change the orientation mm -hmm. but based on the things that you have told us so far it does appear that we are in a ditch and we thought that we go to church to learn but we are not learning mm -hmm. because if we are praying to this white person that we thought was jesus christ it means that i'm thinking about so why is it that god was not telling us anything for the past 60 somebody has worshipped god for 30 40 50 years never had this kind of revelation so why why was god keeping quiet okay Lord, remember what we just read mm. about the other nations was confederate against us remember we broke the laws of god okay so these are curses that happened to us we're going to answer that in a minute i want to bring this out real quick yeah. joshua chapter 15. all right let's read verse 20 and half of 21 then we're going to jump up joshua 15 verse, i want you to read along what tribe are you from what tribe are you Ashanti. from? Ah, say that again. Ashanti. Say it real loud so everybody can hear. Ashanti. Now, is that biblical? That's the key answer. Mm. Is that name biblical? Let's find it. Joshua 15, verse 20. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, uh -huh. according to their family. Come on. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah. Jump to verse 22 verse 22 mm -hmm. and Cana. verse 42 i'm sorry verse 42 come on libna libna and etha uh-huh and ashan and ashan these were cities from the tribes of judah so when we read when we just read in luke chapter 21 when christ said to get out of jerusalem guess what Ashan, who was a city in Judah, they had to flee too. Where do you think they migrated? They migrated deeper south into Africa because Israel is already in Africa. And they set up what? They set up the Ghana Empire, also known as the Kingdom of Judah at one time. Now, when you when you add the T and the I after the word Ashan, Ashan you get Ashanti, which means people of the smoke. Mm people of the smoke mm. that's your biblical name you are the israelites that's that right. the bible speaks of that's that's the right. tribe of judah from the tribe of judah. judah it's biblical it's in the bible and guess what they didn't just stop in ghana okay we set up the songhai empire you had the mali empire zephaniah 3 verse 10. zephaniah 3 verse 10 because we forget that israel is on the continent of africa when Christ told us to flee, we migrated deeper south and we started to set up cities. We had our laws. We had our customs. We had our language. We had our culture, which is the Bible. Remember, the Bible in the Greek just means biblios, a composition of records. What records? The records of our forefathers. We're going to read it right now. A lot of you, when you open the Bible, especially you brothers and sisters here in Ghana, when you open up the Bible, you think of white people. You think of Ibroni. That's the first thing that comes to your mind, not knowing that this is your constitution. This is your book. That's why the deacons earlier was bringing out color scriptures all throughout the Bible. Right. This is your book. Zephaniah 3 and 10. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. From beyond the river, rivers of Ethiopia. No, beyond the rivers in, in um Russia. Beyond the rivers in Ethiopia. The Blue Nile, beyond, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Come on. My suppliants. Uh-huh. Even the daughter of my dispersed. Even the daughter of my dispersed. Remember what we read earlier in Luke 21. What did Jesus Christ said? He said they shall be carried captive into all nations. What does the word disperse mean? It means to scatter. Right. Scatter. Disperse. Why? Because we broke the laws of God. Read shall bring mine offering come on in that day shall thou not be ashamed for all thy doings 
God says in that day we shall not be ashamed for all our doings. Come on. Wherein thou hast transgressed against me. Uh huh. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee mm -hmm. them that rejoice in thy pride. Come on. And thou shalt no more be haughty mm -hmm. because of my holy mountain. Read on. I will also leave in the midst of thee and an afflicted and poor people. God said he's going to leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. In verse 10, he referred to them as what? Dispersed and suppliance. Now he's calling them an afflicted and poor people. Why are we an afflicted and poor people? The deacons went over it. Oppression. Lack of resources. Mm. At one time, Ghana was called the Gold Coast. Yeah. You have no gold no more. At least you don't have the control of the import and exporting of it. Yeah. Not anymore. Go ahead. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. God says, because of the scriptures, us returning back to God, we're going to trust in the name of the Lord. Read. The remnant of Israel. The who? The remnant of Israel. So who are these poor and afflicted people beyond the rivers of Ethiopia? On the continent of Africa? The remnant of Israel. The remnant of Israel. Who's the Ashanti? The Fanti? And all these different tribes in Ghana? The remnant of Israel. The remnant of Israel. Your pastors are not teaching you this. Hmm. So why are you wasting your time and your money in the modern day Christian church? Learning lies under the feet of these pastors who are agents of the devil i'm gonna say it again all you pastors out there are agents of the devil why because they're doing the bit of the devil they're doing the bit of the devil by teaching what a white image of jesus christ by teaching you another jesus another gospel they are agents of the devil you know why they want to get paid Hmm. They want to get paid. They want money, 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 money. That's interesting. You know what's crazy? In 1957, you gained your independence. Yeah. Right after when Kwame Nkrumah went to China, there was a coup, right? Mm -hmm. During that coup, what did the people of Ghana do? Mainly those in government, because the people really didn't have no say so. It was the powers that be. They aligned themselves. They aligned themselves with the World Bank and the IMF. You have sold your soul to the devil. What does the Bible say about that? Let's get revelation. I want hmm. revelation. Interesting. Yes, you have sold your soul to the devil. You know today, yeah. the, you receive from the U.S., you receive aid about over $140 million in U.S. aid. Right. Now you have to accept homosexuality. You got to accept that. COVID-19 vaccines, you got to accept that. That all comes with white Jesus. It's in the Bible. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 and 10. This is the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter and the 9th verse. Mm -hmm. And the third angel followed them, saying mm -hmm. with a loud voice, mm -hmm. If any man worship the beast and his image. The beast, the beast. Who is the beast? The white man. Eat him. What is his image? The fake image, the false image of Jesus Christ. This is the image of the beast in the Bible. We could prove it. Come on. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, hmm. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead hmm. or in his hand, hmm. the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. How do you receive the mark in your forehead? Meaning it's in your mind. Yeah. It's in your mind. Yeah. In your hand, you what? You support it. You advocate it. God says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. You haven't seen nothing yet because Ghana's not prospering. Formerly known as the Gold Coast. What do you think is going to happen when the end come? God said he's going to kill you. You're in the white man's churches, he's going to kill you. You support Ibroni in everything that he does, he's going to kill you. You follow his philosophies, he's going to kill you. You pastors that are teaching lies to the sons and daughters of Israel in Ghana, he's going to kill you. God says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Read. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Come on. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone uh -huh. in the presence of the holy angels. Come on. And in the presence of the Lamb. In the presence. Meaning the angels are going to be there watching you burn. That's nuclear fire, World War Three. 
Christ is going to be there. Christ is not coming back to hand out rose petals and hugs. He's coming back for war. He's coming back for vengeance. He's coming back for the salvation of his people, those he keep his commandments. A lot of you think that Christ is coming back to save all, the whole world. Because you have this image, the image of the beast in your head. But the real Messiah, the real black Jesus of the Bible, That's right. he's coming back for war. He's coming back to save his people. And all of you who have the mark of the beast, all of you who have the mark of the beast in your mind, you are going to die. You are going to die a brutal death. Go ahead. That's interesting. Let's get that of what he just said in Luke 16. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to go and say something? Yes, uh, so now the impression that I get is one, many of the pastors who have been preaching have been given false hope. Mm -hmm. Two, that most of the pastors are not researching enough mm -hmm. and that the congregation are not abreast with the real issues. Because we have been made to believe that one, um, that picture is Jesus Christ, which is not because now we know that there are things in the Bible that we've turned it upside down and we are misusing and misapplying it in our daily life, which could be very deadly. Now we know that the true Israelites are black. God is black. Jesus is black. David is black. I mean, Solomon is black and all those things. But because they needed to change that orientation to suit them, they are not doing much. Now we get another impression that most of these pastors are pushing most of the congregation to hell. Mm -hmm. And we have enjoyed it because we never knew that these are the things that are happening. But like i keep asking so why would god be silent like this and we go and listen we do all the hallelujah and he's not even striking and we, we thought that we we're doing the right thing um how do i then go to my pastor and tell the pastor that look pastor there are things that you are not teaching us you are not telling us our true identity and that you need to start teaching because that pastor may not have these things that you are teaching so i mean sometimes genuinely you may not blame the pastor because the pastor is also exposed to the things that we were all exposed to now that we speak now that we're speaking i want to understand how i can tell my pastor that there are a lot of revelations that you have to begin to open so we will know the truth like you are giving us my worry is how to communicate to the pastor and how the pastor will know that all the things that they have been teaching, they need to back up. Now, you got that? Uh, why, are you look, why are you looking for that? Uh, uh, Listeners, this it, is Focus 94.3. And please join us on Facebook. Join us on Facebook right now and see uh, for yourself. You want to watch it because I have my brothers here. Israel united in Christ. And this afternoon they've shown us the history of ghana in the bible and the color of christ and the prophet and the issue of repentance but the difficulty now is how most of our pastors would appreciate that something is wrong because we have been used to a certain line of teaching that we thought that these were the right things maybe you're also listening you're a pastor listening to us and you feel that they are not being factual well maybe we are all learning i would activate the line and then you can also um call when i activate the lines so you can add or disagree if you think that all the things that they are teaching are false and like i said if you think that they are the real deceivers they are the, the satan themselves and they just want to parade and deceive us into believing in whatever they are saying you are you are at liberty to do that but we are all learning if you go to facebook focus 94.3 we are there now uh is the whatsapp active is that what okay so our whatsapp is zero five uh seven five nine four three nine four three zero five seven five nine four three nine four three please that's our whatsapp 
console line. Please, you can text or you can send us a voice note and we are going to play it for you. So please, as you are listening to us, you can test us through our WhatsApp line 0575. 0575- Nine four three nine four three zero five seven five nine four three nine four three. We're also live on Facebook, Focus FM ninety four point three. We are live now, and then you can also drop your comments in there, and then we are going to discuss together. This is Focus ninety four point three. Um, this afternoon, my guest uh, are Israel United uh, in Christ. Um, some wonderful deacons who are here to help us appreciate the things that we never knew and some of them this is my first time of being exposed that we have been worshiping a fake man jesus christ now to answer your question regarding that this truth it's a hard pill for many to swallow it is right now for me but at the end of the day guess what if you look christ says if you love me do what keep my my commandments commandments. real quick give me first john chapter 2 because you're asking about how the pastors like this basically they have to make a decision right now today everyone that's listening you have opportunity to repent and do what god said to do even if you was a pastor many of us i didn't grow up understanding this it had to be shown to me as well well guess what brothers and sisters israel united in christ we're here to show you what the bible is teaching us okay Mm. give me first john chapter 2 and read verse 3 i want y'all to watch this real quick first john chapter 2 and verse 3 read and hereby we do know that we know him if you truly want to know christ read if we keep his commandments you truly love christ if you want to know christ you have to keep his commandments come on he that saith i know him and keepeth not his commandments uh-huh. is a liar none of us want to be a liar uh no 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 yeah none of us want to be known as being a liar none of us wants to be a liar or found a liar teaching this bible right yeah. we all want to fight for the lord and fight for his son great well guess what you have to believe on him as the scripture have said that's what the bible teaches us not the doctrine that was given to us by our slave masters by those that captured us right it says what he that saith i know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar come on and the truth is not in him and the truth is not in him when you're teaching lies when you're teaching a doctrine when you're teaching the hearsay because that's what these pastors have done for so long they have parakeeted what they've been told instead of researching for themselves that's a very dangerous place and i challenge everyone that's listening right now take your own soul and salvation serious give me jeremiah 17 take your soul and salvation serious because your life depends on it y'all understand that give me that jeremiah chapter 17 read verse 5 yes sir jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5 read thus saith the lord Cursed be the man that trusteth in men. If you are trusting a pastor with your soul and salvation, you're a fool. The Bible says, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Come on. And maketh flesh his own. You make flesh another human your strength. Mm. Notice, we're not giving you our own words. We're giving you the Bible. Mm. So you don't trust in us. You got to trust in what you read. Today you learn that Jesus Christ is not a a, a dingy haired white man. Mm-hmm. That what he looks like you. In that they're supposed that's supposed to be, uh, put a certain amount of pride on you, mm-hmm. to where you now stand up and realize you're not an African. You're not Ashanti. You're Israel. You're the children of Israel. The you chosen supposed, ones. You supposed, exactly. You need to walk in a new light. Keep God's commandments and faith in His Son. Is there more? Yes, sir. And yeah. and whose heart departeth from the Lord? Because he's some of, a lot of these pastors, all of these pastors' heart has departed from God. They've all been deceived, mm-hmm. and they're teaching that deception to our people. Wow! It's time to come back. It's time wow. to come back to God's words. Wow. Read on. Wow. Yes, sir. Verse six. No, no, I'm sorry. That was it? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, all praise be the most high. You what? said you, you was gonna say something. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean. So yeah. check this out. The whole purpose of this. This is what we're trying to get y'all to realize. We're just scratching the surface right now. No, no. I know. We have not done, we ain't even dove in. You realize your history, historically, it is proven that you are the Israelite according to Deuteronomy 28th chapter. The a lot of the questions you've asked about the disparity our people are, are, are facing and are going through, it's all found in Deuteronomy 28. Watch this real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 28, and I want you to tell me who this happened to, Nana. No. Okay. Tell me who, who experienced this right here. Whose history bears witness to this? All right. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord 
shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What, what happened to us in Egypt? When we were first, remember you read them in, in back in Exodus, right? What was the state of the children of Israel in Egypt? What were they? Slaves. Yeah. God said, for disobedience, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. But this time when you go, you're going to go by way of slave ships. Who did that happen to, Nana? Hmm. Did that happen to white people? Did white people go into slavery with ships? No. Nope. No. Did the Chinese man go into slavery with ships? No. Who went into slavery by way of slave ships? Mm -hmm. Your people. This Bible bears record and witness to who you are. The blood that runs through your veins is the same blood that ran through Moses' vein. Same blood that ran through King David's veins. Sa King Solomon. These are your forefathers. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. And there mm -hmm. ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. You see how the Bible gets very specific on the, the events that would take place? Yeah. The Israelites would be sold into slavery by way of slave ships. And when they got there, they would be sold as bondmen and bondwomen. And no one would be able to save them. Give me verse 40, was it 46? Verse 40. Read that real quick because when we, this is again, we don't have enough time to cover everything. But when you understand, when you read Deuteronomy 28, I challenge all of you pastors, everyone that's listening, go back and read Deuteronomy 28. You're going to see all these curses. Every last one of them is your history. And there's a reason. Read that. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. God said, I'm going to put these curses upon you for a sign. Why? To identify you. The Lord knew in the last days we would lose our identity. We would lose who we are. That our heritage would be taken away from us. He said these curses shall be upon thee for a sign. Read. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. Why? Because to this day everybody was asking, why are these black people in the state that they're in today? Why? Are this, this, we're in astonishment among all nations. Why can't they just get right? What's wrong with them? God's hand is against us for our lack of obedience as stated in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. Read. And upon thy seed forever. These are generational curses that follow us wherever we go. The curses God put upon the children of Israel for lack of obedience. Wow. The time for us to come back is now. Mm. Verse, verse 47 explains mm -hmm. it. Go ahead. It says, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So even back then, you know what we wanted to do? We wanted to follow the other nations. Mm -hmm. God, so he delivered us from Egypt. Gave us everything that we would desire. Everything that we wanted. Gave us the kingdom at that time, right? And we said, no, I want. we want to follow the other gods. Mm -hmm. We want to follow these people. Mm -hmm. We want to follow Buddha. We want to follow Islam. Instead of doing what God said. Therefore, we went into slavery. Go ahead. For the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord said, because of this, you're going to have to serve your enemies now. In the wants of everything, we have to go to the other nations to, to, to obtain it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. In hunger, mm -hmm. and in thirst, and in nakedness, Go ahead. and in want of all things. What other people have been made subject to have to serve another people for the things that they want? It's only talking about the children of Israel. These curses is a simple process of elimination to identify the children of Israel today. The time to wake up is now, uh, hmm. Nana. No. That's it's in now. Very interesting. Um, listeners, um, we are also live on Facebook, Focus 94.3, and we are getting interesting revelation, pure revelations, live on Focus 94.3, performance is our speciality so uh, for almost one hour and 40 minutes plus we have been dealing with a very delicate subject something that we thought we knew and now um we know that that white man you say is jesus christ is not that's the first truth based on the bible we know that that white man look i know that it's very difficult for you to accept that uh because this is what you are used to when you dream all of us were victims and we now know based on the description 
in Revelation chapter 1, 12, 14, where John gave a very powerful description of Jesus Christ and various chapters that also confirms the fact that Luke, Jesus Christ, is black and we are the true Israelites. Now, in case you are confused, you also have to research. And to the pastors, the verdict is clear. I am sure that um, because of how you are used to, it becomes very difficult because, I mean, pastors are the most difficult people you can get because once they know that this is what they believe in and the fact that they believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking to them, it becomes very difficult for them to open to reasoning because that is one 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 attribute in, in James 3 17 18 it talks about the wisdom from above which is open to reasoning it means that we need to be able to appreciate because we don't know Paul said we should study to show ourselves approved and so if we have people like these our brothers um Israel united in Christ giving us this wonderful perspective to what we already know and some of the things that we're doing which were false it is very important that we appreciate these kind of teachings. And I, I need to assure you, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe we have to do part two, maybe part three before you leave. Um, that would be great. <laughs> yes, yeah, because we need, to, we need to know more. Yes. Um, I know the two hours might not be enough, but uh, we, can, we, can, we can strategize and see how we can do something more before you leave to maybe a crowd mm -hmm. back because okay. these things are divine revelations yeah and not all people know a lot of pastors a lot of professors a lot of doctors a lot of christians are not aware that these are the powerful revelations that we have never been exposed to i mean how do i go and tell my dad to burn out that that man Right. How? It's, it's difficult. Right. You got to show them the scripture. Uh, no, no. Mm. Again, this right here, you notice when someone tries to come against this, I just, and I, I, I challenge you to pay attention. They never use the Bible. When they try to say Jesus is white, they never use the Bible mm -hmm. because the Bible does not support that. Mm -hmm. It okay. does not support it. Okay. Like I said, this, this right here, this is what we're supposed to be doing, studying to show ourselves approved. So again, right. make sure you have your Bibles open and you're writing these things down and you are taking notes. This is by far the most important information you are going to hear to this day in your life. Once, Interesting. Once again, our website is www.israelunite.org. That's www.israelunite.org. We also meet on the Sabbath at 2.45 p.m. at the Culture Center that's at 2.45 p.m. Now we were in uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse mm -hmm. uh, 48 again. Nine. Therefore shalt thy serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God sent them against us. In hunger. In hunger. And in food. When you want food here in uh, Ghana, you got to, for example, if I'm not mistaken, you got to buy your rice, your flowers outside of Ghana. Am I yes. right? Yes. In fact, we import $2.4 billion. Yeah. Mm. Every year. How do I know that? The Bible just said that. That's a prophecy. Mm. That's prophecy. 20, where those things, guess what? Those things you could have, those things you could have grown home right here in your backyard. Mm. You could have grown home right here in your backyard. Mm. Yeah. But guess what? Jesus said, uh, uh, the, the prophecy have to come to pass. Mm -hmm. The prophecy have to come to pass. Whatever was written before time, it was in for our learning. It's got to come to pass. Read. And in thirst. And thirst, water. Water. Yeah, we import water. You import water. Yeah. What? How the hell you import water? Water is a natural resource. Everybody's supposed to have clean water without paying for it. I come in Ghana, I pay for water. How is that possible? Mm -hmm. So if I come to your house, you can't even give me a glass of water. I have to pay for it. <laughs> water. Weed. And in nakedness. Nakedness. The clothes you on your back. The material. The material is that they are made in Ghana. They don't make the from material China. in Ghana. The material yeah. I made from China, yeah. from somewhere else. The material you have to ship it down here to 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 sew you on clothes. That's prophecy in the Bible. You know what that proof? That proof we in Ghana are the children of Israel. We and in want of all things. The Bible say in want of all things. No matter what you want, you gotta go to the enemy for it. Yeah. Driver license for you to drive the car. You gotta pay taxes. 
the biggest bank in Ghana is not owned by Ghanaian. It's owned by the enemy, yeah. by outsiders. Mm -hmm. Now, think about it. You got your money, you have to put in a bank that on not owned by your own people, owned by outsiders. And they profit from your money. Mm -hmm. hmm. They profit from your money. The biggest hotel. You want to leave it? Listen, the hotel I saw here, some of Ghanaian will never, will never live in that hotel for not one night. Hmm. How is that possible? That's supposed to be that's supposed to be their so-called country. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? The enemy come rob you out of all your resources. That's in the Bible. That's what we're reading right now. Wow. Hey. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Who have who have yoke of iron on their neck in slavery? We are. They put it, they put uh, uh, mm -hmm. chain in our neck, yeah. chain in our feet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he said, Until he have destroyed us, so now the chain come off. You know why the chain come off? Yeah, we've been destroyed as a people. Mm -hmm. We forget who we are, we forget we are the Israelite, we are Judah, Benjamin, Levi, we are uh, 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 Issachar. Here in Ghana, we are Judah. We forget that. So, what uh, guess what? Now that we destroy as a people, now he destroy us, now he can take the chain off, he can take the chain off. Now you can take the chain off. You see this? Mm -hmm. That's our people. Mm -hmm. That's only happened to our people. That don't happen to nobody else. That's and, only happened to our people. And the proof of that, Nana, if you're familiar with the Cape Coast, yes, you I heard of there. Elmina Castle. I have. Been have there. you? You been there? I've been there. That's where they had us shackled. Yep. The Dutch, the British, they had us in there shackled. Yokes of iron on our necks, getting ready to what? Get on the ship and come to the Western Hemisphere. It's all biblical everything we could prove out of the bible that's right hey drop that give me first Corinthians right quick give me first Corinthians 14 verse 28 after today after today yeah let's go to the scripture what god said this is what god said after verse. today first 28 verse 38 uh -huh. first corinthians 14 verse 38 uh -huh. but if any man be ignorant let him be ignorant read that again but if any man be ignorant now, now you hear this Mm -hmm. God said, if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Let him be ignorant. After today, people in Ghana cannot say they did not hear the gospel. They did not hear the good news. Because we just give them the good news. Mm -hmm. We just touch. Some of you been in the church for 40 years, for 50 years. You just learned the true gospel today for the first time in your life. Mm -hmm. For the first time. Today, there's no more ignorance. You know why there's no more ignorance? Because you can open a book and read it yourself. Mm -hmm. You cannot say I did not know. So guess what? Do not make it, do not be ignorant as an excuse saying that I did not know. We don't get time to read. Mm. Yeah, well, you better you, you better make time because you time. your salvation depend on it. Mm -hmm. Your salvation depend on it. Mm -hmm. You better make time now. Give me a uh, look one, verse sixty eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, before you do look one, let's do Matthew first. Matthew what's that? Matthew fifteen, verse twenty four. Yep. Let me do. Let's get do that first because Jesus Christ come to deliver what to deliver us mm -hmm. from the enemy. That's what Jesus Christ was saying. Who said Nana? Who said Jesus Christ? God. God. Read what Jesus Christ said. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that again. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Your brother and sister in Ghana, you are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're here today to tell you, you are the Israelite. You got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob have 12 sons. You are one of the descendants of those 12 sons. You are the Israelite. Hmm. You are the lost sheep. Jesus Christ died for you. You only. I know this hard to believe. Hmm. I know it's hard to believe, right? Hmm. It's hard to believe Jesus Christ, the greatest man that ever walked the planet, died for the people here in Ghana. For the black people in Ghana. That hard to believe. But that's why we just read. Give me Luke, Luke 168. <clears throat> Luke 1 68 Luke, quick. Luke chapter 1 verse 68 Blessed be the Lord God of Israel God of who? Of Israel no, the Chinese Of Israel no, the white man Of Israel God is the God of Israel God is the God of Israel Read For he hath visited and redeemed his people God have visited what? Redeemed his people Jesus Christ is coming to redeem us to redeem his people. Who are his people? The 12 tribes. You people here in Ghana, you are Jesus people. You are God people. That's what he's coming back for. He coming to redeem you from those who hate you. Yes. You in Ghana got enemy. They hate you. They don't love you. Hmm. They don't love you. Read. 
and hath raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That horn of salvation, Nana, is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the black Messiah. That's right. Hmm. That's the horn of salvation. God has raised to come and save the people here in Ghana. That's the good news. That is the, we just give you the good news. That's well, the good news. Well, some of the messages I am getting. Okay. One, uh, like I did ask, but he wants me to ask. He said, Nana, so how come our pastors never told us this? That's the first one. I have a few here, with you, but the first one, how come our pastors never told us this? Let me put it through like this. Every one of us go to school, right? Yeah. You go to school to do what? To learn. To learn. Yeah. So, how, you, can you teach something you haven't learned? No. Exactly. That's your answer. Okay. <laughs> you want to you you expand on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead expand on that. Get that real quick. Expand on that. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and the second one <clears throat> is that burning the one that we know is not Jesus Christ, oh, burning the one that we know is not Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. how sure... <clears throat> Um, is she that she might not be burning the true Jesus Christ? So, uh, hey, can I say something? Mm -hmm. Now, remember I said about the pastor. He said, why is the pastor never taught that? Remember, these pastors go to what? They went to theologian school. Yeah. Taught by what? By the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. So whatever the pastor is teaching you, who taught it to them? The so-called white man. So you think the white man is going to taught you pastor the truth so the pastor can open your eyes? No, they're not. Go ahead. And on top of that, for the sister, believe what you read, sister. Believe what you see, what the scripture says. We have been conditioned to look at the white man and think, oh, he's holy. I can't do that. No, this is wrong. If you're worried about being deceived, you need to look at it on both perspectives. What you got? Got to get a scripture on this. First John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits, mm -hmm. whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Many of you might be saying that we are false prophets. Guess what? We're reading out of the Bible. Everything that we've been proven is out of the scriptures, That's unlike it. your pastors. Verse 2, hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. That's right. So in order to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, you must admit that he came in the flesh. Guess what? Flesh has color. That's right. Flesh has color. We are so-called brown people, just like the so-called white man is red. What if he came in the flesh? What color was he? Right. Verse 3, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. So if you're running around saying that Jesus Christ is a white man, if you're running around pushing his image, guess what? God says you are not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, mm -hmm. whereof you have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. So what nation is pushing the white image of Jesus Christ? Hmm. What nation? The so-called white man. All right. And in all the pastors has taken a covenant, which is written in Isaiah 28, verse 15. We're going to read it, and the deacon's going to explain it. They have taken a covenant to push this image. Now, I'm not talking about the pastors that deacon said who don't know it. But a majority, I'm going to say this, a majority yep. know that Christ is a black man. A majority know that Jesus Christ only came to die for the nation of Israel. Watch this. Isaiah 28, verse 15. And Deacon, you can explain. Well, and, and as you're preparing for that, mm -hmm. somebody is asking, based on this teaching, are you not creating tension between us and them, like the white, um, because Jesus talks about unity, and your teaching is bringing this unity. So we see them as enemies, and anybody who is an enemy must be treated like an enemy. How would you respond to that? That's a weak thought. First and foremost, there's already tension there. There's already dissension there. They are murdering and robbing our people as we speak. You are What you're saying is you don't want to come out of the docile state that you've been forced into. 
You've been forced into a way of thinking that, you know what, I don't want to ruffle the feathers. Just let me be a good slave. Mm. Stop it. Wake up to who you are and take back what belongs to you. This Bible is yours. Doesn't matter who, how anybody feels about it, like, like you said earlier. When we said that Brother Kwame was white, he about jumped, he about jumped across the daggone yep. desk. You need to have that same authority. You need to have that same, that same, um, what's the word? You need to have that passion. Pa yes, com uh, passion whenever yeah. we speak about Jesus Christ being white. Wow. It's going to cause tension because we've been taught by them for so long. So, of course, your oppressor is going to be upset when you say, to hell with him. Mm -hmm. He's going to be mad, but we don't care. We, we don't follow care. God. Hey, listen, yeah. listen. Get Acts 5. They've been declaring war. It's, this is spiritual warfare. The minute. They change the call of Jesus Christ. Sister, they're declaring war on you, on your family spiritually. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. There is, listen, the time to be afraid is over. The time to be afraid is over. You're going to, you're going to, you, listen, you're going to make yourself unhappy so you can make the enemy happy? Are you serious right now? Are you crazy? No. The, the minute they are introduced that, that garbage to you, the tension was already there. We're not bringing no tension. The tension was already there. The minute they introduce this to you, they declare war on you and your children, spiritual warfare. Right. Somebody and is, now we, let me say this too, because we are not speaking of, oh, we're supposed to rise up and now fight against the white man and become violent and nothing like that. No, the war, the spiritual warfare is up here in your mind. Mm -hmm. You have to tear down these strongholds that have been put in your mind, in your head, that Jesus Christ is white and that, you know what, everything black is wrong. That is not what the Bible teaches. We got to do what God says. Give me Acts, the fifth chapter, read verse 29. This is Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Remove those docile thoughts. It's a war going on right now for your soul, and Satan is winning if you don't wake up. Go ahead. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So we don't care what men think. We don't care what if somebody's going to get upset that we're telling you the truth about the Bible. You shouldn't care that someone's going to get upset when you say, listen, I'm, I'm burning these idols. I'm going to fear God and keep God's commandments. To, to the hell with what anybody thinks. Mm -hmm. Do what God says. That's Do right. what is right. Interesting. So the next one is um, now that he's aware that, you know, he's the true Israelite, how does he convince his family to appreciate these revelations. So basically, he says, now that he knows who he is, mm. how does he take now take it to his family? Yeah. He has to learn. He has to learn the Bible. He has to learn the word so that he's able to go and teach. Real quick, give me 1 Kings 8. Mm -hmm. This is the process we all got to go through. 1 Kings 8 chapter. Mm -hmm. nobody, is, nobody gets a jump start. Nobody's able to just automatically be in and just, no, it's a process. This is 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, mm -hmm. so that they carry them away captive. Was, is this not our history? God was angry with us, so he allowed the enemy to come now and take us away from our land, right, to their lands to serve as slaves. This is our history we read about in Deuteronomy 28. Read. Yeah. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Each and every last one of us have to remember who we are. So when this young man or whoever it may be is trying to take this to their family, he himself has to learn. So he's able to shake and wake them up. Brother, yep. wake up. Mm -hmm. This is us. He got to get the knowledge first. It says, yet if they shall bethink themselves. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent and what and repent come on and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive saying we have sinned and have done perversely we have committed wickedness this is us confessing our sins to the most high we got to repent meaning stop the sin confess our faults confess our sins to the most high telling him listen we have done wickedly we have lived like the other nations we have we have observed their doctrines we went along with this this is us acknowledging our error right then and only then read and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive 
and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Read. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. Then and only then will the Lord fight for us, mm. because now we're remembering, I'm not Ghanini, I'm not a, 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 from, from America, I'm not African American. I'm an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Then repent. God is going to fight for you, brother. Yeah, sure. And once he, once you do that, guess what? You're going to gain the understanding. Give me Psalms 111 and 10 real quick. Mm -hmm. I can quote it if you want to get there. I'm going to get there fast. Mm -hmm. This In the book of Psalms, the, the 111th, I'm sorry, 110th chapter, it tells us in order for you to understand this Bible, you must do something. Read. Psalms 111 and verse 10. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Come on. A good understanding have... Oh. A good understanding <clears throat> have all they that do his commandments. Mm. His praise endureth forever. The only way you will understand this Bible, this goes for every pastor, every minister, everyone who says, follow me. If they're not keeping God's commandments, they can't lead you. Mm. So, brother, if you want to lead your family to this, repent and keep God's commandments. Re right. Bethink yourself who you are. Now, um, the, the final one is here. So, if I know I'm an Israelite, what does it mean? The kingdom is for you. That's what it means. Jesus Christ is coming back for you. And and how does it lead to development of myself? You're supposed to now watch this. Beforehand, you thought you was a Gentile. You didn't you thought you was insignificant. You felt as though you was like everybody else. No, brother, no sister. You are an Israelite. This is not supposed to cause you to walk in a new light. You are supposed to now become a new creature. Walk with pride, because guess what? Christ is in you. The spirit of the Father and the spirit of Christ dwells in you. Now, the way we look at one another. Here in America, I'm sorry, up, out there in America, you know how the black people look at each other? Like niggas. They look at each other like, man, you a nigga just like me. You ain't nothing. Now, we can look at each other and say, no, nah, look at that king right there. That man is just like me. We're going to inherit this earth if we keep God's commandments and faith in the son. We're going to be back on top. That's this now makes us walk in a new light. That's interesting. And Jesus Christ said that in Matthew chapter 19, what the deacon just said. Yeah. Matthew 19, 16. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Mm -hmm. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. If we are going to inherit what the Most High God has promised us as a people, the children of Israel, we must keep God's commandments, y'all. It's time. It's time. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. In fact, um, we, we've learned a lot, and I'm sure that maybe... Um, uh, beyond here, we we can we can see how uh, we can get consistent voice like these uh, on on air. Uh, many many ones coming, and I'm sure that we keep in touch, and uh, we get uh, the local rep so that um, basically some of these things we will know, we will learn. I'm looking at how we can um, create a big forum, especially when the students are in, right. and then we have forums like this where you will teach us. Yes, um, bring a lot of students who need to know some of these important things and so we'll, we'll talk more uh, God bless you I'm going to give you um, your final message for, for us and uh, any uh, follow up where we can get you how we can worship with you and um, any other information yeah? well uh, again we are Israel United Christ mm -hmm. uh, that was formed in 2003 yes, sir. by um, Bishop Netanyahu uh we we all over the world we all over the world we are traveling we travel all over the world uh pushing the gospel the good news uh i'm sh i'm sure uh, uh like you said a lot of people hear this for the first time but don't worry we're going to be here for we're going to be we're going to be in ghana for a minute we ain't living yet so yeah. you're probably going to see us in this street teaching Great. we had a proper one go we're going to see us all over ghana all right so yes. i pray what well, everything we bring out your blood and sisters take heed to it repent and start keeping god's law that God himself may fight for you because we are in the last days. Mm. This is the last day. And uh, brothers, Deacon, 
No, no, no. Same, same thing like Deacon said. Brothers and sisters, you are a special people. A speech a people so special that God chose you to be a nigh unto him. And it's time for us to wake up and do what God said to do. So when you see us in the streets, don't be afraid. Come listen. Tell your mother, tell your father, your grandmother, everybody come out. Come here and speak. Because we just scratched the surface today. There's yep. so much more found yep. in this Bible yep. that you need to know. And brothers and sisters, please, uh, you can visit us at www.israelunite.org. That's www.israelunite.org. We're going to be at the cultural, the cultural Center in Kumasi, right here in Kumasi, Saturday, 2.45 p.m. And you can call us at 0207 also 05 05 40 40 85 85 92 92 55 55 yes call us come find out what what you have to do to prepare for the second coming of our lord and savior at cultural yes. center right yes sir cultural center saturday 2 45 p.m p.m yes sir every saturday yes, yes. sir and what time do you close um, it depends, okay. but it, it, we we congregate for a couple of hours to bring out the scriptures to our people. That's great. I want to say, um, God bless you, and we've been inspired. Like I say, um, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yes, sir. We'll be engaging you the more, and we'll keep connecting so we know more because it should not end here, and we'll make sure that uh, we do a playback of all the things consistently where uh, people would know and then at least those who were not able to monitor would have that period it's not going to be just one replay but many many replays for people to know and since we are here we are we are open for um engagements like this yes, and now i want to thank you thank you for having us we appreciate it thank you thank yes, you sir. thank you thank you so um the storms are over now. Thank you. Israel United in Ghana. Very powerful. I have learned a lot. So uh, the takeout is simple. That God is black. God created you according to his image. And so you should be proud that you are an Israelite. And nobody should look down upon you. Uh, you, are, you are a God-chosen nation a royal priesthood so be empowered to cause that change so now that you're liberated now that you know that uh, you are the true israelite it means i can connect to god properly this is for you but if you have that man that we knew of as jesus christ please burn it burn it it's fake it's dangerous he's a deceiver Good afternoon, and we continue. This is Focus 94.3. My name is Nana Jantwa.